Lee. By the way, I could already see. By, hey, listen. I'm not going to say Quavo is the craziest lyricist ever, but already I've seen a few play on words. I think he's like, yo, nigga, go. Nigga, you want to dance battle? Go dance. You going to dance battle with my Drake? If you remember the No Guidance video, that's off top, I'm thinking. The No, the no Guidance video where you got Drake, actual Drake, um, uh, dance battling with, of course, Chris Brown. Then he kind of dropped some tea, which has been speculation. Again, I told y'all what it's called over hoes and over hoes and bitches. Hold on. If y'all could start writing out these lyrics, I'm going to do some research on all of them because I seen some people shocked about the ran in your house and tied up your auntie because you ain't paid them niggas. Allegedly, again, I don't know. I ain't from the streets. I rep the Pussy Nigga Association. But there was always word that the reason, remember that old story, Chris Brown house invasion where, where people got tied up, right? Armed men bust into the house, hostage held, all type of shit, right? Like, apparently, you know, uh, they had, they had, like, tied up his family member, but they went into the safe, and people were like, this don't make sense. How the hell somebody come up in your house and know the code to your safe, and people are thinking it's an inside job. Now you hear Quavo on the track saying, nigga, they ran up in your house because you ain't pay. Like, maybe Chris Brown getting extorted, or maybe, I don't know, one of his niggas backdoored him, some type of shit like that. All type of little nuances in here. I'm actually surprised that he slammed Sweetie like that. I thought him and Sweetie was... I thought he always had, had a soft spot for Sweetie, but I could tell he don't give a fuck about Sweetie. Niggas said I could take a, a model bitch and turn her into Sweetie. All right, I'm going to run it back one more time, chat. Uninterrupted. Let's vibe out. Personally, this is what I think. Everybody could have their own opinion on it, just like how everybody have their own opinion about using AI Pac and AI Snoop. To me, I think it's fair play. I think it's fair play by Qu uh, Quavo to use Takeoff especially when Chris Brown evokes the death of takeoff and basically tries to say, yo, we just wish you had died, right? You know what I mean? Again, I think it's fair play, right? I think it's fair play, but you guys can let me know. I'm gonna run back from the top. Let's go. Y'all let me know. We could do a poll on it. I said this might be equally a great song. It might be a better song than it is even a diss. That's how much I respect the song. Again, I personally think Quavo had this takeoff hook in the cut. He had a little intro in the cut. He probably was going to use it for another time, but my boy understood the assignment. He probably looked on social media. You got people like 50 Cent. 50 Cent playing with Quavo like Quavo not like that. Like Quavo was about to do the Kendrick and not respond. You get what I'm saying? Look, and also, I think, too, this was wild. Like, this motherfucking thumbnail Chris Brown used was wild. Then you got niggas like... 50 told my, oh my God, just heard this. If Quavo don't come back with some heat, it's a wrap. First, the fat boys break up, now this. Now, I told y'all, remember when there was a situation that happened in D.C., right? With the Migos. Quavo came back, and he made a track. I think it was, it was definitely him and Takeoff, I believe. Was Offset on that? Anyway, regardless. In his own way, Quavo be... He popping that shit too. And this is what I love about where rappers now. You don't got to do all that Kendrick Lamar, Drake shit, J. Cole shit just to get your point across. This is lyrical competition. This is about making the better song. And at some points in some realms, like where Quavo's at, I don't, I don't think he's trying to get lyrical spiritual. Drop a hit song and diss your op. I like it. <laughs> okay? All right. So you have people like 50 who's doubting him like that. By the way, we're about to... Oh, 50 talking about here. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to play it again, but we're going to start going through these lyrics. I'm waiting for the lyrics to pop up over hoes and bitches lyrics. I know somebody's going to start annotating it on, um, oh, y'all think this is fast. Here we go. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Uh, he said, you been fucked, fucked your bag up when you punch her in the face. Holy shit. Talking about fashion week. You sparing who? Come punch me in my face. It ain't nothing but a fade. You know you lost the Frank. That one I don't get yet. Oh. Wait. The fuck? Come on, Vulture. Stop hating on me. Don't hate on me, Vulture. I be forgetting about that. Chris Brown seen arguing with Usher and Tiana amid. All right, bro. I'm going to just allow it. I'm going to allow ads. Give me one second. They're hating on the kid. Here we go. 
pause on the site. Here we go. I remember when this came out via the blogs. Chris Brown seen arguing with Usher, Tiana Taylor in the video amid reports of a fight. Chris Brown was trying to square up with Tiana Taylor? No fucking way. Chris Brown was seen arguing with longtime friend and mentor Usher amid reports that Singer got into a physical altercation in a video obtained by TMZ. Let's see if we go watch the video. Is it this? Oh, hello. Oh, Tiana was there. Okay. Where's Iman Shumpert? Yo, the craziest part? My man ready to like go crazy and he skates away. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, Chris. Yo, Chris, you wild. Yo, imagine getting gangster wild and they get you to skate away, just like float away like on some print shit. Look at this. <laughs> I'll fuck you up. <laughs> Look. Look. <laughs> Nah, look. Nah, this is good. <laughs> nah, this is good. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Let me see the details here. Uh, everything was cool. It got ugly when eyewitness tell us that Chris Brown was attempting to talk to Tiana, who was also in attendance and sitting on a bench outside the ring. We're told for whatever reason she was ignoring him. Chris got pissed off and he started yelling at her, and that's when Usher and Naveen were trying to calm him down. You can see that in her video. Oh, this is Tiana right here. Okay, I can see. We're told Chris wasn't having a cursing at Usher and Tiana, but then mostly focusing anger at Usher. Eventually, directly, eventually our sources say Chris told his crew they were leaving and exited the facility, and Usher took off his skates and went after them. Oh, oh, oh shit! Yo, Usher catching fades? Our eyewitness who was there were present for this tells us that they saw Usher go behind a string of charter buses that were parked in a lot where uh, Chris and his crew was at. We're told a short time later, Usher emerged with what appeared to be a bloody nose. What? Wait, so did Chris win the fight or did Usher like fuck up Chris? Unclear if he went to the hospital or if a police report was filed. We reached out to Vegas Metro, but haven't heard anything even remotely resembling this being called in. Oh, everybody kept a gangsta. Okay. Okay. Meanwhile, Usher, Tiana, and Chris have been radio silent on it. Okay, something definitely happened. Oh, shit. All right, my boy Quavo got the news. <laughs> Let me run it back from top, people. Hey, we're going to keep running this bitch back until it's available on all platforms. I told Quavo, I said, Quavo, I only need one hour of exclusive with this. After that, put it everywhere. Hopefully, the song goes up. I only need, so I probably got 13 more minutes. I don't know if he told his label. <laughs> oh, Frank Ocean? Ain't no way Chris Brown get beat up by Frank Ocean. Y'all lying. Chris Brown, Frank Ocean. I don't remember that. Oh, here we go. More details of the Chris Brown, Frank Ocean fight. Oh, shit. TMZ got their hands on an incident report filed after the parking lot, parking spot scuffle. They were fighting over a parking spot? Between Chris Brown and Frank Ocean outside of an L.A. studio. According to Ocean's retelling in the report, Chris Brown tried to shake Frank Ocean's hand. Ocean turned him down. And Chris Brown punched him in the face. <laughs> Yo, why Chris Brown so violent, man? At, the, at, at that point, two of Brown's buddies jumped in. At some point, according to Ocean, Brown threatened to shoot him by saying, we can bust you too. No diddy on that. That sounds crazy to say to a gay man. And one of Brown's crew used the term, we can't say that. Ocean didn't receive medical care. Oh, so it looked like Chris Brown won this fight. It sound good to, it sound good to this, though. Pussy nigga, pull up, crash, shout about your bae. Boy, you pussy. Lil' bitch, come dance, battle with my Drake. Brrr. You been fucked your bag up when you punch me in the face. Tell my fashion week, you sparing who come punch me in my face. Pussy. Hey, chat, I agree with y'all. We're going to blame this whole year on Cat Williams. That nigga went on, on Shay Shay Club, and he said, all will be revealed. Once he said that, it's been nonstop beef. Niggas getting locked up. Niggas getting jumped, beef happening, people got, di yo, it's crazy. I don't know what the fuck this nigga seen, but once he said this, it ain't been the goddamn same chat. Be honest. Think about it. I've never Hold seen them have anything that I ever wanted. Here we go. At harbor any resentment to any of these entities because I can't be jealous. I've never seen them have anything that I ever wanted. 
If you sign up for their program, you get a light skin, weird face wife that never do an interview. Oh, in man, come on. Listen, in 20 years, won't do an interview. Nobody's <laughs> ever talked to her and that she's never been interviewed anywhere. And now, understand, I'm not talking about one person. What I just told you applies to seven people. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, cat set it off. Yo, it's like the industry was all just chilling and cat dropped the bomb and everybody just exposing each other, left, right, and center. One person, what I just told you applies to seven people. <laughs> How they all end up with that. That's part of what you get. I came in this business saying I was gonna expose. Somebody says Frank Ocean versus Bodyguard. I should look up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we gotta get all the tea. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Frank Ocean versus Bodyguard. Why y'all saying that? Oh, this is a fight right here? No way they have the fight. Hold on, really? By the way, oh, we got to show this too. Chris, Br yo, you know what's so crazy? The only BT Awards I've ever been invited to was the same award show where Quavo, yo, everything's a full circle moment. Chat, think about this. Think about this. Matter of fact, let me, let me oh, I got to get this in order. We, by the way, we're still going to play a song again, but uh, watch Cat Williams predict the whole year. And now, understand, I'm not talking about one person. What I just told you applies to seven people. How they all end up with that. That's part of what you get. I came in this business saying I was going to expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all. <laughs> these big dick all catching hell in 2024 it's up for all of them it don't matter if you diddy or whoever you is tg jakes any of them the, every all lies will be exposed that's all. all lies will be exposed i like that that is the 2024 model all lies will be exposed and, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong yes, way. Yes, one more time. TGJ, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. The truth is I the light. No more DJ. Amen, amen. Cheer. <laughs> uh, I kind of <clears throat> get on here. All right. Well, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. So we got this clip, and then we're also going to play. Um, Chris Brown and Amigos at the BT Awards. Hey, full circle moment. Full circle moment. Only time I've ever been invited to the BT Awards was when I'm on Everyday Struggle. Me, Joe Button, and Deska. Yo, y'all all know what happened there. You know what I mean? Uh, um, classic moment. You know, obviously, I love the, I, I, I love the Amigos. Uh, but what ended up happening, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I think QC was on one that day. They was trying to find any op possible. I think, yo. First of all, hold on, you can even see, we ain't played a full video already. These niggas, these Atlanta niggas was walking around the BT Awards, that's in LA, with silk shirts on with their chest out. You know they ready to squabble. They just walking around not giving a fuck. Then they walk into one of like the light-skinned final boss, Chris Brown, who, again, all right, we're going to get into all that shit. Okay, so we do have the fight video here. Speaking of which, let me just play, let me finish playing the song one more time. I'm, hey, listen, listen. By the way, I don't want nobody. Hey, a lot of exclusives coming through me, but I ain't gonna be, be biased. If some don't sound good, if some sound trash, if some sound weak, I'm gonna say it. Please be, please know that, okay? Sometimes I'm biased. Y'all can see when I'm biased, but I'm gonna keep it fair. This Quavo and Chris Brown shit, I like Chris Brown because he be having that little light skin thug energy. But I ain't gonna lie. Quavo's always been the nigga who, when his back against the wall, he responds with his best music. So I like this back and forth. Now, all the other T coming out, who fucked who, bitch? I don't know what's going on with Karuzi and Sweetie. I ain't damn, my bitches, I don't care. But I like the fact we're getting music. Now I'm going to keep it being with you. I do. I like this song. P, if you're watching this, y'all got to send us the radio. This is good. This is a great song. If not for anything, Quavo understood the assignment answered appropriately Chris you're on the clock Chris Chris I'm sorry you're on the clock now y'all tell me because this this might be my new 2024 um 
Do we think this is okay? I, well, I think it's a good response, but is this a knockout punch? Because this is my new this is my new uh, soundboard effect for knockout punches. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, get up! Get up! You got this. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get out the way! Get a knock rock out. Get up, rap. Situate him. Get up. Get up. <laughs> Situate him. They rock. Kill him. Hey, are we saying this to Chris Brown? <laughs> Knock rock out. Get up, rap. Get get up. <coughs> Situate him. They rock. Kill him, rock. Kill him. Wait, get up. Get up. Yo, chat. What we saying though? Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, one more time. Chat, I'm sorry. I got to burn the hell out of the exclusive. I'm sorry. Hey, listen, I got I, I, I to gotta give some incentives to fuck with Big Act. I'm burning the fuck out of the exclusive. One more time with this, then we finna watch the Frank Ocean versus Chris Brown fight. Then we're going to watch the square off where this all started six years ago. Is it six years ago? Yes. No, it's actually about seven. It's almost seven. Seven years ago at the BT Awards, 2017 was when they almost had a square off in a parking lot or parking deck. Nothing happened, but shit did look tense. Here we go. Let's run this back one more time. God damn. Hip hop is good when it's good, eh? Hip hop is good when it's motherfucking good, huh? Hey, let me tell you why. Hey, you know, every morning I wake up and, and it's been happening for about a week now. I have to remind myself that we're within a surreal time in hip hop history. We're not just. We've seen feuds, we've seen back and forths, we've seen like diss songs, we've seen things go obviously extra left. But I just want to remind you that for this moment in hip hop, we have to savor. Let me tell you and give you some important facts. I've been covering hip hop on a notable level for over 10 years, actually about like 13 to 14, okay? Here's the thing. One of the premier and one of the instrumental groups. If you wonder why that uh, that that um everyday struggle moment happened where everybody's like, "Yo, you were fanning out over the Migos?" Yeah, I used to cover them. The Migos was one of the like I had main groups that I know the mainstream wasn't covering like that. I used to cover everything with the Migos. So, when I'm covering now, right? Where we have Quavo, still relevant in the culture, still popular as ever, going at, uh, against Chris Brown, somebody who I, I've always just fucked with his talent. I'm also covering motherfucking Drake, my favorite rapper of all time, going against Kendrick Lamar. Everybody, we got Kanye, who's just the goats of the goats, going at it. I have to remind myself every day that we probably won't see this moment, this type of back and forth this hype, this intrigue, where to keep it real, we're not waiting on a Quavo interview. We don't want to hear Kendrick do a fucking, you know what I mean, Vanity Fair cover. We want to hear music. I'm probably within good authority to say we'll never see this time again in our lifetimes. Not among the artists that we're talking about. We're talking about not B-list C-level talent, not people who, to be honest, if they don't have a beef, they don't have a career. We're talking about people who, without beef, without controversy, their career is going golden and good. Yet, the still, still the very essence of hip-hop prevails with all of them. Drake, I would say J. Cole, I'll still throw him in there. Even Kanye, Metro, Future, Weekend. Quavo, Chris Brown, everybody who's involved. Kendrick, too. You know, he's going to get in the mix. 
But this is a very special time, and and I don't know about y'all, man, but uh, these are the superheroes of music. All I'm not saying crashing out, but they're all putting their career reputation, and they're putting what they've built musically on the line because there is a possibility that after going song for song or whatever the case is, people might just be like, oh, maybe you weren't as good as you I thought you were. Damn, you got embarrassed in this back and forth. We don't... Mm, it kind of affects you differently. This is a very, very special time. Okay. Uh, let me go back real quick because there's a bar in what Quavo said. And he said this. He said, you know, um, it ain't nothing but a fade. You know you lost a Frank. Oh, shit. Okay. Now, this is what people told me to look up. Let me just click on it and see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what is this? Wait, nah, this ain't real, is it? Wait, is this real? Frank was... Frank knocked what? Frank knocked Chris Bodyguard down. Nah, that ain't Frank Ocean. Stop it. Frank really had that. Yo, this is trolling. <laughs> That's not Frank Ocean, is it? Am I tripping? Like honestly, I'm not. I'm not even trolling. Am I tripping? Hold on. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm watching. Somebody said go to Chris Brown IG story. Oh man, Chris Brown official. All right, let's get this, let's get this. What Chris Brown say? Chris Brown says, Google raps. That shit is poo. Damn it, I was excited. That shit don't even need a response. Take off rap better. Nah, Chris. You're going to have to respond, bro. You're going to have to respond. You're going to have to respond, Chris. I love you. I liked your diss. Quavo did his thing, you gonna have to respond. Again, you don't have to be dropping a million bars. You could drop a song because I think this is a great song. Okay? But regardless, see Breezy, we know you don't we know you ain't duck a fade all the way back to Soldier Boy. Okay, well, they said differently, but whatever. Uh we need a response from Chris Brown. Holy. What is this? <laughs> This ain't, this ain't Frank Ocean. Who, who, what is this? <laughs> but these are like two random dudes. <laughs> this is two random dudes. I don't know what, I don't know where people got that. Anyway, uh, do y'all remember this footage right here? So this footage is from, uh, I think, you know, this was right after, you know, Chris Brown got out of a relationship with uh, Karuche. Remember Chris Brown pulls up on Karuche. This was the ultimate, y'all remember this picture right here? <laughs> this was like yo really my nigga you gonna really just ignore all my texts my nigga my boy was stepping with her like she trying to ignore him ah uh, hell nah what's cracking my boy my boy pulled up like this <laughs> what's up you don't see me texting you nigga what's up <laughs> look <laughs> yo yo Briss Breezy was like he was not letting shorty go was Quavo fucking her back then? Yeah, that nigga was trying to get in the car with her. That nigga was doing the most. Nah, this was iconic right here. You really done with me, dog? Yo, Chris, I know one of them ones. I get it. Yo, Chris was on that shit. You said this was stalker vibes? Might be. <laughs> uh -huh. Nah, my boy stepped to her like, what's good? What's good? <laughs> nah. Holy shit. Let me see. Oh, there's a video. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. On Fandu. Chris Brown.
But respect to Breezy, though. That nigga pulled up Dolo trying to get his girl back. Don't tell me Quavo was stretching her out at this point, though. Nah, that would, that would be cool. And, and, and with all due respect, you can't have your girl go fuck with another nigga in the industry. Come on now. <laughs> Yo, Chris Brown just joined the entourage. Look, she right here. Look at Chris. <laughs> Yo, chat. One in the chat right now, if one of your homies who get mad bitches, like you know he get mad bitches, but he be obsessed over one girl, and he low-key got dumb stalker vibes, like wild stalker vibes. I ain't gonna lie to you, and I'm not clowning these people because I ain't the best of the best with nothing either. So I'm not trying to be on a soapbox. But you know who does this shit too? Like 6 9 do that shit. Like, yo, 6 9 booked a private jet for his, like, I guess he cheated on his girl. He booked a private jet for his girl and her friends to go on vacation, which is crazy. Like, <laughs> you know she about to cheat on your back type shit, right? He booked a private jet for his girl and her friends to go on vacation to, like, DR. You know what he did? He booked the second private jet and met her there <laughs> just to watch her. He booked the villa and all that, and then he snuck into the villa just to watch her to see if she was going to do some fuck shit. Classic stalker. Look at Chris Brown. <laughs> Summertime fine. What's crack? Are we back together again? No. <laughs> Run away. Look at Chris. Yeah, look at Chris. <laughs> Yo. You know, yo, to keep it real, I'm so surprised Chris never called a fake. Chris Brown, what's that nigga name? Victor Cruz. That nigga was with her for a little bit. Oh, I guess he dissed her. Oh, he says upgrade him, sis. Chris Brown slam <laughs> ex Karuche ex trans. Oh, uh, her last name is trans. I was about to say, what the fuck? Karuche trans um, boyfriend, Victor Cruz, said upgrade him, sis. Yo, chat, all right, let me ask y'all a question. Because... We seen, if you don't remember uh, Quavo's first track, Quavo dropped a song called Tender. Okay? He dropped a song called Tender. Give me one second. And in that song, let me see, what did he say? Okay, in the song Tender, he says, you did the bitch wrong and now the bitch gone. She posted up with a thug, call the bitch phone. She won't come home. Don't beat her up. It must be the drugs. Need to cross out your plug, okay? And then, um, didn't he say some shit later? Okay. Is it this? Okay, anyway, he was basically saying that, yo, Chris Brown is a little bit tender. Right? We, 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 that's like the new terminology. Like, niggas is tender dick or whatever the case is. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, Chris Brown and Karuche, is he tender or he's just, like, obsessive? Or is being obsessive being tender? Real talk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Y'all right hit the camera, dog. Yeah. You hit me. You bumped right into me. Nah, look right here. This is where he did the pose. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all right hit the camera. It's all right, enough is enough, man. Enough is enough. Yo, Cruce, what's up, now? What's up? Yo, Cruce had to probably feel like a million dollars, yo. You hit me. Look, you bumped right into me. Say, word? Yo, Chris, bro. So, nigga, we getting in the car together. You guys back or what? Did Chris ever get the car? Like, see, hey. Hey. Either way. Either way. Either way. Move, to the, move to the back. Move to the back. Move to the back. Oh, shit. Now, nah, Chris is bulldozing his way in. Yo, move to the fucking back, nigga. Yo, is Chris tender? Is he like... <laughs> I don't even know the other word. Like, see, either way. Either way. Move to the back. Move to the back. That probably like her assistant or some shit or friend. Like, move to the fucking back, nigga. Move to the back. Oh yeah, Chris is in that bitch. Oh, they got this camera nigga the fuck out of here. Watch out, Papa, watch out, watch out. Holy shit. Okay, 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 okay. When was Quavo with Quavo Caruche? When was he with her? When were they together, chat? Oh, 
Oh. Oh, shit. What year was this? Quavo and Karooch are both high-profile celebrities, and Quavo known for his music um, in Amigos and a successful solo career. Karooch, a model and influencer. Wasn't she on TV? I think she won like a S, uh, like one of those, the award for like daytime TV shows. I think she was on TV show. They were rumored to be dating after the pair was spotted together on numerous occasions. In April 2024, the pair's relationship hit the headlines after Chris Brown took a shot at Quavo for his fling with Karooch. The pair have been a high-profile relationship with uh, Karooch dating Chris Brown from 2011 to 2015 and Quavo dating Sweetie from 2018 to 2021. Here's everything we know about their entanglement. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, oh, this is when, oh, they went on a May 2022, Quavo and Karuche spotted in Jamaica together. Quavo and, and Karuche were spotted in Jamaica. When was she with that nigga, um, Victor Cruz then? Was it after or before? Photos emerged after the alleged couple went on vacation. After Tran told reporters she was single and the rapper was just a friend. Yeah, he's definitely fucking. Yeah, you see my boy, you see my boy Quavo with, with the cross bag. You know we got it on him, even in Jamaica. She said, I'm single, I'm having fun, enjoying life. She told reporters after being after leaving a luxury LA restaurant with Quavo. However, fans are not convinced after the pair was were rafting together in Montego Bay. Oh man. March 2022, Quavo and Carucci were spotted out in a date in Hollywood. They reignited dating room. Uh, well, in March, Quavo and Sweetie reignited dating rumors after they were spotted out on a daring date, and the pair was seen. Blah, blah blah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is another one. So this was from 2017. It looked like he was just always fucking her, bro. Yo, Quavo, you slime ball. I see why I see why this nigga Chris Brown wanna crash out. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Okay, all right, okay. Anyway, this was the uh, 2017 BT Awards. So because I remember Quavo and Karuche being linked in 2017. Chris Brown had broken up with her or she left Chris Brown, whatever the case is. And this is after the in, the infamous moment. Y'all remember this moment, right? This is the same award show. Uh Migos Everyday Struggle. Right? So this happened. Check I feel out. like there's like a running joke with with you being left off bad and bougie. I, I ain't left off bad and bougie. You think I'm left off bad and bougie? Say again? You say I'm left Man, rest in peace, take off, man. I love this moment. And by the way, I know I, I know my homies didn't feel no way about it after they realized I wasn't trying to play them. But I understand everybody looking like, yo, Ak, you trying to play them. These are my people. Look at Joe's face. <laughs> Look at the desk alike. <laughs> Let's run it. You being left off bad and bougie. I, I ain't left off bad and bougie. You think I'm left off bad and bougie? Say again? You say I'm left off bad and bougie? What you say? You say I'm left off bad and bougie? Yo, you know, you know I never realized about this? Look at how Offset sizing me up. That nigga was looking at me like, yo, if I Falcon punch this nigga, would he even survive? Did y'all see Offset getting it in the club recently? That nigga was in Starless. He about to, like, slap somebody. Offset need anger management. Here we go, though. Say again? You say I'm left out bad booty. Yo, look how he's... This is Offset. Look how he's sizing me up. <laughs> look at this. This is crazy. You say I'm left out bad booty. What you say? You say I'm left out bad booty. Yeah. Do it look like I'm left out bad booty? What'd you say? Do it look like I'm left off bad booze? Nah. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing I like about the group. Because ever since when you were in, in jail. Look at Joe. Even though you might see one or the other, y'all move as a collective. All right, we got to wrap this up, though. Okay. My bad. I'm going to have to wrap it up, then. Then wrap it up, then. Close it. Close it. Hey, listen, man. I wish I could talk to the Amigos longer, man. It's one of my favorite groups. I've been covering for so long. I'm glad they succeeded, man. Hey, man, you guys are nominated tonight. Have a good show. <laughs> Why did Joe do that, man? It's like, they said wrap it up. Give me a minute to wrap it up. I can't just be like, all right, guys, thank you for coming. Peace out. No, no, no. Come on. It's my favorite fucking group. The fuck is you talking about? Listen, man. I wish I could talk to the Amigos longer, man. It's one of my favorite groups. I've been covering for so long. I'm glad they succeeded, man. Hey, man, you guys are nominated tonight. Have a good show. Yo, shout out to my man, P, man. <laughs> you know what's so funny about this whole thing, too? Offset. Yo, I don't even think he moved. I think he was just looking like, yo, wait, are we doing this right now? Wait, wait, wait. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, takeoff was, 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 he was 
he kept moving forward. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 wait. Yeah, this nigga's bucking. You never know who you will see at the red carpet live at the B.E. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Okay. However, the parking lot was where it got down. Remember, they on one the whole night. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know how many. Pa Yo, you gotta remember. First of all, uh, uh, we're gonna talk about at some point. You know, shout to Gotti. Gotti got you know CMG lit. Uh, who, who else is like great executives in the game right now? Um, I don't want to um, leave anybody out, but P from QC goaded that nigga low key for the last. You gotta remember, Migos came on the scene 2012, 2013, Versace. They're still rocking. That nigga's had a 10 year run, black executive doing his thing. Um, we're gonna talk about at some point, probably the hidden stories and probably how he, he kept like the group of flow. There's a lot of shit going on with that. Anyway, uh, after that happened, the Migos, oh, and I only said that to say QC must have had. 60 passes for the BT Awards. Because every one of their rappers looked like they had like 10 goons with them, bro. Yachty had 10 niggas. Quavo had 10 niggas. Takeoff, rest in peace, had 10 niggas. And Offset was just looking demonic. So they eventually run into motherfucking Chris Brown in the parking lot. This is what happened. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, if you see a nigga with, with, with damn near choker chains on with the first three buttons of his shirt not buttoned up, bro, that nigga's on bullshit. <laughs> Just look at this nigga offset. He's on bullshit. <laughs> Yo, look at Takeoff. God rest his soul. We love you, Take. <laughs> Takeoff just said, fuck the shirt. This nigga's wearing his shirt just on his, on, on his shirt. Not even on his shoulders, nigga. On like his biceps, nigga. Quavo's still looking clean, but look like he's trying to get it in. By the way, they're looking for Chris Brown. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if they're looking for Chris Brown, but, but they ran into him or it was a little tense situation. <laughs> Some other dudes, it was. I ain't gonna lie, this was iconic. First of all, Chris Brown made sure he came to he he knew the assignment too. He came with his goons and his people and his security. Everybody, there's like about 20 people in front of Chris Brown. Chris Brown is so comfortable that nigga's just leaning on the car like, oh word, <laughs> like not even. He don't even look like he's trying to run. Look, he just look, look. Yo, this nigga's fired. What the fuck? Nigga, you got an earpiece on, nigga, trying to get a, a viral video. Look at this nigga. That nigga says security while recording. Oh, this is Chris Brown right here, eh? Quavo right here. 